pay them. Oh, screw you. Why? Hey there, and welcome back to an episode of Watch or Not, the series that make the first episode of my name is said based on any time you're watching the show or not, and today it's Zombieland Saga. Going into it, I was already pretty pissed. I mean, Windows XP? What are we even doing here? Okay, but jokes aside, it didn't leave the best first impression for me because I'm not that big a fan of cute girls doing cute things. And the show combines another thing that I'm not really a big fan of, which is zombies, because also they've been really overdone. I had already all kinds of different ideas going through my mind, how the zombies are going to appear, and it was all just so cliche. So when this happened, it came to me as a complete shock. Now, you have something that subvert your expectations, and then you have something like this that completely explodes your expectations all over the place. The intro here, the opening, the music, it was so well executed. And I really don't want to spoil what happens to her because it's pretty fun. But either way, something happens to her and then she wakes up in an abandoned building or something, with zombies being everywhere. But you can't see it because it's too damn dark. The thing is, going into it, I didn't know anything much about it. I just knew that it had zombies because the freaking it's in the freaking name. I didn't know this was an idol anime, so my brain was just going everywhere right now. I was thinking about all these different zombies in the building, like that they really made a bold choice making the zombies agile and fast instead of just slow and stumbling everywhere. But the thing is, that doesn't really matter. So our story progresses. The girl is in the building, escapes, goes outside, and then she discovers that she is also a zombie. She was a zombie all along. But man, this just keeps on going. So we find out that this guy actually made her, or I mean fixed her up after her accident. And it turns out that he actually has other girls, the zombies that we saw before, also in the building. And he's trying to create idols out of the zombies. I have absolutely nothing to comment about the story. I have never seen anything similar to this before. But the thing is that the first half was so intense. Things just happening one after another, all kinds of discoveries going on. And now the second half is focused on idols. So that was a bit of a red flag for me since I'm not that interested in that kind of a genre or type of anime. And honestly, it didn't seem that special because the guy just puts makeup on the zombies to make them look like idols and then they have to perform. So I was really in between if I should watch it or not. And I'm gonna go with watch because what pushed it over the edge for me were the jokes and I do hope that it does continue being this kind of a zany type of show and doesn't just become a one note anime where the whole plot is that oh look we have zombies who are trying to be idols and that's it kind of like Backstreet Girls where Yakuza members were turned into idols for a comedic effect and that didn't really turn out that well but at least the first episode here was good enough to make me want to continue but now for next week, I actually want to ask you, should I watch or not Karakuri Circus or The World in Colors? The one with the most comments will be featured next week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.